Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall. We've got a mystery box from J. Scott Campbell, so let's take a look. Okay, so um, every once in a while on his site, uh, jscottcampbell.com uh, does a mystery box. Uh, usually it's somewhere like 50, 75 bucks, whatever it is, I don't remember. Uh, anyways, it contains uh, five or six books uh, randomly from his collection of covers that he's done, and uh, some of them will be signed. Uh, I dig J. Scott Campbell, so every once in a while it's worth a fun take a look. So we'll go ahead and... Um, take a look inside the box here and it is going to be uh, wrapped like this and we can start to see the COAs here so um, let's take a look some bubble wrap on top pretty straightforward actually just the books are sitting in, inside of here um, let's move this box out of the way and just a couple sheets two sheets of bubble wrap but that's about all we need all right I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this other um, window, I think, for the most part, because aside from once we open this, there's not a lot of finicking here. We're gonna, it's, it's all wrapped in a plastic um, bag. I say it should be easy. Let me. Alright, we'll move that out of the way. And let's just bring up the books. Alright, so first up. Oof, this is a fatty. Oh, yeah, it is. is next row. All right, so we have a signed book. Uh, Catwoman, the 80th anniversary book, signed. J. Scott Campbell. This is, according to the backside, um, it doesn't say what variant it is. Uh, it just says that it's Catwoman, 80th anniversary, number one. So, this is looks like, oh, I think this was done by de decades and stuff. So, this looks like uh, 60s, because that's kind of Eartha Kittish. Um, there, so there we go. Um, oh, all right. Uh, Year of the Villain. Uh, this is, um, cover E, so, of, of the Year of the Villain, Harry Quinn. So, in this particular variant was the last one done. Originally, he released a set, and then later on they came out this one because it's actually the same cover as an earlier one with just, like, removed everything, just added the shadow. Um, interestingly enough, I have this book slabbed as a 10.0. Granted, it's a PGX 10.0. I know what you're going to say, but, you know, uh, really high grade. Um, this looks beautiful. We might have to send another one for slabbing. All right, next up. All right, punchline. So uh, this is another cover I have. Um, this is from the Joker, number one. Um, I thought this was actually the coolest of the covers uh, as far as a punchline cover goes there. Okay. Next up. Oh, nice. X-Men Legends, number one. We get Dazzler and Longshot. Signed again, J. Scott Campbell. This is cover C. So usually with these as the, um, like I know this one too is like the cover C, the cover E, the more they are, the, the higher the letter, the lower the print run. Um, so I'll probably I'll go back and I'll look to put the print runs in here if I can for you. Because I think that like um, some of these here start talking about you know, 1,200 copies or something. All right, here's another uh, X-Men Legends number one. I think this is the cover B. I give Magneto. And last book in the lot. Amazing Spider-Man number one. This would be volume four. So this is when we meet uh, Parker Industries. Yeah, we see P.I. in the background. Parker Industries. So this is um, after we've just at the series immediately following the short volume three run when Peter comes back and how he finds out he's running this uh, international organization, a billion dollar company left to him by Doc Ock. And uh, he basically kind of becomes like Iron Man for a bit. Even Spider-Man is the bodyguard of Peter Parker for a bit. So 
Cool. All right, so there we go. So we got the Spider-Man one, the X-Men Legends, the X-Men Legends, Joker issue one, the Year of the Villain. So we got the Harley. I want to beat you up. Oh, sorry. And then we got Catwoman, Old Eartha Kit style Catwoman. There you go. That's a cool little mystery box. Uh, we got six books. We got three of them are signed. So half of the books were signed. Half of them weren't. Um, definitely worth the money if you were to buy these books individually from his website. Especially signed books. I mean, you're not going to... Some of these you have to buy actually in sets uh, to get them all. Um, but would definitely cost more than the mystery box. If you're into J. Scott Campbell. If you're not, well... As I always say, collect what you want. And don't listen to anybody, including myself, because, you know, I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.